G'day everybody and welcome to part 186 of a playthrough of Dinkum. As you can see, we've started the day off out here in the west once more. Uh, but we're not really going to be able to do anything here. We just ended up here because we did quite a bit of work last night. Um, I am just going to dig a couple of things here before we actually set off back to the farm. But uh, anyway, let's take the teleporter and uh, see if we can actually get a few things maybe started at the workshop before we actually head home. So... Alright, um, looking at our inventory, yeah, we're actually pretty chock-a-block full of stuff. There's probably a few things that we could maybe leave at the workshop, but... Uh, yeah, one of the most interesting things though is the desert roses that we managed to gather from what a lot of people are t um, sort of saying is the um, the bone trick or the, the flower bed and bone trick. Yeah, I have no idea guys. <laughs> but uh, it's nice to know that you can get those kind of flowers from it uh, and you know, I was sort of complaining the other day that uh, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of types of flowers in Wuyan, so you know, it doesn't really seem like um, you know there's a, a big variety. So I was getting a little bit bored with what we had, but uh, anyway, let's just get a few things started here at the workshop, and we'll put a few things away as well. All that junk that we managed to find in the ground, let's put away. A few more bright wires there, which is good. I was sort of getting a little bit worried about the bright wire situation. We could probably put our eggs in here as well, although we're probably going to pick up a few more. Uh, I've got some random tin ore here. We've got a couple more brick flower beds, which we were using yesterday for that trick. And we might actually hang on to that because, you know, we might actually go out to the spare house and do a few things there. Um, now speaking of the spare house, I think my goal for the day is to actually work on the spare house a little bit more. Maybe add a few crates and storage compartments and whatnot. Um, and yeah, seeing if we can actually make that, uh, that house useful. Um, do I want to store the stones? Perhaps. Um, ah yes, we've got this marble floor, which we don't exactly want. We've got a yellow t-shirt. I have no idea if we have a yellow t-shirt right now, so we'll keep that. Um, but very quickly we'll go to John's and we'll quickly place the marble floor in there. Got a spare fishing rod here. We probably don't need that either, so let's put that away. Uh, yeah, that one's a copper one. I actually haven't crafted the iron fishing rod yet, so it uh, be interesting to actually see what that does for us. Um, okay, I think we're gonna bring everything else back home. I'm not entirely sure where the bike is actually. Uh, let's just quickly check. Ah, uh, oh lord, okay. <laughs> it seems like we, uh, we drove all the way out to the west yesterday. Sorry guys, I, uh, I didn't really remember that. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to do something about the bike at some point. I think yesterday maybe we focused a little bit more on the animal situation. We got uh, more feed and I can't remember if it was the previous episode or the episode before that but we got uh, Ed the third as well which is nice. So we should be able to continue getting small eggs. Um, it is nine o'clock so Spike should be able to have his breakfast. That's actually quickly coax him to come over this side for a second then we'll sort of let him roam free around this area away from danger some of you guys are getting a little bit nervous about spike you know uh, maybe not returning home because of the crocs nearby <laughs> so um we're gonna try our best to keep him alive guys um Okay, the extra quarry from Franklin, so we've got the other quarry here. Can, can we stack those? Yes, fantastic. Alright, 
Cool. Um, let's do the farming. So we'll need a couple of farming tools here, perhaps maybe the iron scythe. So let's just bring it with us and uh, let's pick up all the things. Nice. Um, yeah, that's little Ed there. I suppose she's not producing any eggs just yet, but I guess with a little bit of patience, we'll get there. Um, let's just quickly grab our wool and our milk. Very good. And now on to the crops. Uh, nothing to harvest. Ah, here we go. So plenty to harvest over this side, it seems. Uh, just want to be a little bit careful here. The iron scythe is running out very soon. So we're going to have to repair that at some point. Ooh, um, got a little bit of a empty patch here for some reason. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But you know what? I'm probably just going to leave that for now because what we're 18th at the moment in 10 days. We're going to have to think about, you know, what to do with the entire farm for the springtime. So um, I'm pretty sure that we can't grow. Um, we can't grow corn in the springtime, so we're probably going to have to replace it anyway. And I don't really feel like growing another, like, another patch of corn just for the next 10 days, because I don't think it's going to be worth it. Um, we should try to see if we can get some more fertilizer going, though. Okay, we have just the right amount of rupees for that. We should be able to just get that going. And we've got... Our trap that we need to set down once more. Okay, very good. And I haven't actually seen the bombat poo today. Usually there's like at least one bombat poo per day. But uh, anyway, let's get the, uh, the fertilizer going. Got a little bit more to work with tomorrow. Speaking of fertilizer, we do need to keep one for crafting some more bombs, although I still want to commission one more of those quarries uh, before we actually move on to crafting some more bombs. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll focus on getting the quarry first. Just going to quickly change guys because uh, yeah, probably digitally smelling right now because I haven't changed in a couple of days or so. Um, white pants, sure. Green boots, uh, I think we wear green boots very often. Maybe red sneakers, khaki, sure. Do we want, um, sunglasses or something like that? Maybe, maybe this is okay, actually. Um, maybe I should rock the yellow t-shirt for a while. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do something like this, I think. I'll put everything away. All right. Um, ooh, and I totally forgot to drop in the dirt printer for the day. So um, we better head back and actually do that. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think of whether or not I can harvest something that'll give us a little bit of stamina for the day. Um, I don't really want to be eating all of our precious cooked food because I want to craft a few more and hopefully get to maybe 50 stacks. But we do have bush limes and quandongs in the area, so we should be able to keep a few of those and uh, use those to increase our stamina when we need it. We might actually also eat a crock meat. I think we've got like some cooked crock meat somewhere um, sitting around. Let's just get this going. Let's get the milk processing and the wool spinning as well. And since we're here, we can cook the limes. And let's check for our crop meat. Bit of breakfast here. Very late breakfast. It is almost 12 already. All right, good stuff. And uh, cheese goes here. Uh, 
Ah, oh, I totally forgot to put the khaki away. Alright, I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, and the bones. Bloody hell. So organized I am. Um, Alright. Let's just quickly check our tasks as well. Okay, no task for the day. That's good. Uh, John wants to practice some smelting. Sure, we'll oblige. Um, we'll check in with a few other people here because we're very close to maxing out our relationship with everyone. Um, here's another mask. A black one. Interesting. Red puffy jacket. I'm not sure if we have a red one yet. Red cuffed pants. I think we do have that. Brown sand shoes. Trady boots. I don't think we've got trady boots. So, uh, the color is very powerful. Sure. Okay. A thousand. Why not? We'll take the tradie boots, um, and we'll wear them straight away. Um, okay, it looks like we have full relationship with Clover, so I'm gonna move on and maybe speak to someone else about uh, increasing our relationship, maybe Sally. I did say I'd like to maybe get a haircut some day, but uh, probably not today. Let's chat. What do you want to chat about? Do you need anything? Oh wow, I noticed you've got an apple with you. I'd like to buy your apple for 280 ding. Sure. You can have it. I have all these quandongs anyway. I mean, not quandongs, bush limes. Righto, um... Street lamp. I think we've got that already. Let's, uh... Quickly... Tag what we need for the next quarry. Okay, and now we should be able to just prepare everything that we need. And yeah, I think uh, crafting all of these things with Franklin these past few days has probably increased our relationship with him. And I'm calling Franklin a him for now, and I'm drawing the line because uh, <laughs> a couple of reasons. One, the wiki says that uh, Franklin's a he. And secondly, apparently there's some dialogue with Sally, where she refers to Franklin as he as well, so um, I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> Let's see guys, I am looking for... oh yes, uh, that's it. I'm looking for gears, con um, contraptions, and iron bars, bright wires, button boards, and I think we need old toys. There we go. Uh, just for the iron bars. Okay, we're starting to run a little bit low on the iron as well. So we may need to think about going into the deep mines sometime soon. Again. <laughs> uh, let's quickly go back to Franklin and get this crafting underway. Yes? Can you make me something? Let me show you what I can craft. Please do not waste my time. Let's get that uh, quarry going. It'll be very handy to have, I can assure you. Now, to make that item, I'll require the components and 70,000 dink. I'll also require a day or so to make it. Do we have an agreement? Let's do it. Excellent. I'll begin right away. It'll probably take all night, but I assure you it'll be ready by tomorrow. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. All right, um, so with the brick flower beds, I think maybe we can afford to actually decorate right here in front of Sally's place uh, because she's definitely missing some flowers. Just steal a little bit of soil there and place it right here. I'm not entirely sure if we'll go with like a couple of flower beds for Sally's. Perhaps maybe that might not be a bad idea. Uh, but it means I've got to craft a few more. But uh, anyway, let us place... Uh, I don't know, should we go with the desert roses there? Or maybe we can replace some of these with the desert roses. Why not? Whoops. Um... Maybe... Maybe I'll take these ones and replace them with the Desert Roses. There we go. 
So hopefully we can find some more desert roses. Well, I mean, we'll have to do the trick to do that. Um, but that's not really going to be too hard to do. Right, let's maybe place the desert peas in this one. And yeah, I'm going to just do a little bit of crafting here, guys. Um, going to try and actually make a few more of those brick flower beds and then um, we'll also craft some storage. I just can't remember guys if I've kept any of my old storage sitting somewhere. I assume that I haven't and I've actually sold all of it to John or something like that but uh, <laughs> yeah in hindsight maybe that wasn't the best idea. Okay, um, there we go, so we've got a couple, well, four more, uh, flower beds, which is good. So we'll use a couple to actually expand what we've got at Sally's. And hopefully these desert peas actually, you know, propagate pretty quickly. Gonna need a little bit more soil for that side. Let's do it. All right. There we go. Okay, looking good for Sally's. Um, it does kind of feel like she's a little bit like sandwiched between these flowers, to be honest. But that's okay. That's all right. Um, it'll look nice. Or or should we make it a little bit wider? Nah, that's all right. I think I think we'll leave it and we'll keep a couple more brick flower beds in case we want to do that trick to get a few more of those desert roses um, let's put away some of these bars iron ores I'm just gonna keep for a little bit while we work on crafting a few things here and there oh lord guys okay I completely forgot about the dirt printer well, uh, that probably means we may not be able to do any of the work in the west today. But you know what, maybe that's not such a bad thing, because we've probably been at it for like so many days in a row, perhaps maybe we should sort of mix things up. So, um, yeah. I mean, the question though is going to be what should we be doing in the meantime? <laughs> um, hey buddy. Um, yeah, I still haven't found like another doggo collar. I have no idea if you can get like a couple at the same time. It would be nice if that was the case. But uh, anyway, let me grab the ingredients that we need for a few crates. Uh, I think we need these uh, planks and nails, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So. Yep, let's craft, mm, I don't know, maybe a couple to start off with because I'm sure at some stage we're going to go into the deep mines and we're going to find quite a few of those chests and we can also bring the chests to the spare house and use those. Um, anything else we need to do around here? I don't think so. It's just put a few things away while we can and yep I think we're good to perhaps head back and uh, just store a few things back at the house as well might be handy to use our hang glider here uh, actually, while we're here, I just want to quickly check if we've got anything worthwhile here that we might be able to bring. I think we've already probably checked all of this, to be honest, but yeah. Okay, cool. So maybe we do need to visit Melvin at some point and uh, try and see if we can craft a few things here and there for um, for the house. Well, not really craft, but buy, right? Um, 
Why am I here? I am here because I need to store a few things. Bones and clothes. There we go. Right oh. So um in terms of activities, I think the only thing that comes to mind right now is maybe gathering a few more of those pearls. Uh we haven't really gotten close to 50 and the next time it rains, I would really really like to be able to make it to 50 and then sell Jimmy, you know, 50 pearls if we can. So let's bring the fish book and I think what we'll do as well is maybe take the quarries with us and uh, yeah we've got these common heaths hopefully we can drop those common heaths down at the spare house we'll also drop the um, the quarries in place as well but uh, yeah we should get going and make a little bit of money perhaps maybe we might do a little bit of fishing as well hence the fish book but uh, I think that'll be the day so Bit of a slow one, I have to say. That's partly my fault for forgetting to actually uh, actually charge the uh, the soil printer. So my bad. That's okay. We could get get to it tomorrow. Plus, uh, you guys have seen me do it like for the last like seven days or something like that. <laughs> so maybe getting a little bit boring. Um, one thing that are, that some people are suggesting for me to do is also to check on some of the daily milestones, um, which I could potentially do, but, you know, sometimes I just think that it's a little bit more of a distraction of, uh, you know, for, well, it's, it's a distraction from us actually doing the things that we want to do for the day, if that makes sense. I'm totally leaving one behind, aren't I? Ooh, we can uh, probably get those flowers if we wanted to. Ooh, and we can probably dig up treasures as well. The problem with digging up treasures is that it eventually takes up so much space, so... Um, you know, you sort of need to decide what you really want to do. <laughs> That's alright, I, I don't mind treasures. Um... And speaking of, you know, treasures and junk, we could potentially sell all of our excess junk to Jimmy as well, right? Like, surely we've got some junk that has reached like 50 and uh, we can probably give that to him and make a little bit of money from it. But uh, the trouble is, I... You know, I don't really know when I'm going to actually need all of that junk, and uh, I don't really want to be in a situation where, you know, we've got to go looking for more parts and stuff before we can craft stuff. Speaking of crafting stuff from Franklin, I actually should have checked what it takes to craft those helicopters as well, because we are getting close, right? Um, I don't think... Yeah, that's just coconuts, right? Alright, let's head out. Continue our hunt for some more pearls. Okay, there's a nice pearl here, which I actually haven't marked either. This could be potentially one of the ones that I marked, like, a long, long time ago and accidentally... Um, accidentally, you know took off of the map, if that makes sense, because uh, I was a bit of a dummy at some point, thinking that they despawn. Alright, can I jump in the jet ski? Oh, I sure can, okay. <laughs> you know, I've been like, uh, just going through the sandy areas and cutting through, but uh, if we can jump over them, that's even better, right? It's a good thing that, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the jet skis don't actually get damaged from, you know, from beaching them and stuff like that. I would be gutted if you would have to, like, recraft stuff. Go 
Come on. There we go. Alright. Should I do a little bit of fishing here? I mean, why not? Let's actually just take a quick look at what type of fish are here. Okay. So the banded morwongs are pretty good. They fetch quite a little bit, so not sure I can see where it went. Ah, oh, there it is. There we go. Come on. Should have grabbed some fish and chips in hindsight. This is turning out to be a very relaxing evening of fishing, to be honest. Which is a little bit rare, considering we've been so busy lately. Every now and then it's nice to kick back. Um, did we already... Oh yeah, we already ca uh, we, we already um, harvested that one. Alright, let's keep going. Here we go. Here's another one. Actually, we haven't marked this one either. And there's another one there too. Jeez, okay, that's quite a lot. Very generous. Let's actually mark all of this. So there's one here, roundabout, and then one more here, roundabout. But at least we know there's like a couple of them over here. All right. Uh, I can't remember how many pearls we have in storage right now. I'm guessing something like 30, perhaps? So that's not too bad, and by the end of today we might have like 40 or so, um, or maybe even 45, because we seem to be finding quite a few extra, um, extra pearls that we haven't ex exactly seen before. Just keeping an eye out for more, just in case. And yeah, today seems like a pretty good day to actually spot them as well, right? Like, rainy days are pretty horrendous, obviously. Got a few jellies here. Do I want jellies? Whoop. Nice. Okay, grab those, and maybe I'll grab a few more jellies from here. Very good. And a bit more fishing. Perhaps another banded morwong here. Now someone was also mentioning that potentially in like another update coming, I don't know when, it might be like sailing ships or something like that that you can build. Okay, not exactly the fish that I want. I think this is a blue fish or something, so I'm just going to let it go. Um, but yeah, uh, so sail fishes, I have, uh, sorry, not sail fishes, <laughs> sail, sailing ships. I'm not entirely sure uh, what that would do for us. Perhaps maybe it's more like going to be like quite large, perhaps like the, the ship that, um, what's his name, Jimmy has. Potentially, right? Uh, and if that's the case, that'll be pretty cool. And um, if it's like a houseboat, that would be even better. <laughs> imagine that, like uh, just, you know, sailing around and then like, you know, just resting wherever you want. That would be really, really cool. Um, actually, we haven't seen this one before. So let's place that down. And yet another one that we haven't marked before as well, so... Um, let's just put it over here somewhere. All right.
right. Wow, today has been Pearl Central. Jeez, we've got like 13 pearls right now. That is fantastic. One for the screenshot, I reckon. There we go. Um, yeah. We have a pearl excess right now. Well, I don't exactly want to say that because uh, I am trying to get to 50. Eh, maybe we'll, we'll leave these jellies alone. We'll go to the next pearl. Right here. Okay, and it's 10.20 already. Jeez. Got plenty more pearls to try and harvest though, so hopefully we can complete harvesting all of them by 11 o'clock and, uh, you know, wrap up the day as normal. We might go home this time around instead of camping out because uh, we don't exactly have the soil printer with us. Although, you know, we could start the day and do like the infinite soil trick if we wanted to, but I don't know. I sort of like using the the printer. I mean, we crafted the printer for a reason. And someone was sort of pointing out the fact that, you know, the soil printer is a little bit of a disappointment considering, you know, how quick it runs out of charge. Whereas, you know, you can literally you know, go on for much longer using the shovel and the uh, infinite soil trick. So perhaps maybe in a future sort of balancing patch, maybe, you know, James might consider adding more charge or something like that to the soil printer. That would be nice. But perhaps I may already finish my project before then. Which would be a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. It is what it is. Although I say that, like the project's going to be really easy to complete. But in actual fact, there is a lot of stuff to do still. Um, oh, we're actually running out of stamina. Well, actually that's why we hooked up all of these bush limes. But we are almost getting to 12 o'clock, so um, we might not be able to to get too much out of these bush limes after all. Did I see another pearl down here somewhere? Maybe not. Okay, let's continue to the next one. Okay, that's just a like a blue muscle or something. Um, there it is. Okay, and should we call that the last one? Perhaps. Um, you know, one thing that I haven't really done is I haven't really ventured further out to see if there could potentially be even more pearls around this side. I mean. Because if there are, maybe we should actually just mark a lot of them down and, uh, you know, that way we can actually harvest a whole bunch of pearls within one day. I mean, we'd have to leave pretty early to do that, but, uh, yeah, might not be a bad idea. Imagine, like, getting 20 pearls or, you know, even 25 or even 30 pearls in a day. Um, that would be awesome. And we'd be able to prepare, you know, we'd be able to prepare for seeing Jimmy, like, really, really quickly. Um, where did the, oh, there it is. Okay, swims pretty fast, this guy. There we go. Now look, maybe this is the last thing that we do today before we head back. I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else we can do with the pearls as well. I mean, there's a pearl path if we're really inclined to 
<laughs> to use our pearls for that purpose, but uh, I don't think so. I, uh, I'm not, I'm not a pearl path kind of guy. So, um, I'm probably going to not do that. And I'm probably just going to sell it off. Perhaps maybe in a future update there might be more of a use for pearls. Um, alright, so we'll go to the Eastern Teller Tower. And from here we're going to have to just hang glide our way back home. Not too bad, I suppose. Hang gliding does speed things up a little bit. We just need to watch our stamina gauge though. Uh, and since we're here at the workshop, we may as well drop off the pearls. Oh yes, okay, we are already at 52. So over 50, we should be able to make tons of money when we see Jimmy the next time. I'm getting very excited about it. <laughs> um, anything else we can do before we wrap up for the day? Perhaps maybe just put this here, maybe leave the junk and um, yeah, maybe we'll leave that there as well. Jellies. Put the jellies in here. Okay, cool. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, the bike is still in the west though, <laughs> so haven't really done anything with the with the bike. Uh, we're gonna have to pick that up maybe tomorrow morning. We've got these feathers. Um, I recall someone saying, "Oh, you better keep some feathers," but I have no idea what we use the feathers for. So yeah, anyway. I mean, if you guys want to let me know in the comments below what I would be wanting to use the feathers for, um, please do oblige. Um, but aside from that, I mean, I, I see no purpose for keeping feathers. Um, maybe for like arrows or something like that from Ted. I haven't actually looked into those bone arrows yet, but uh, anyway. Interesting day, uh, a little bit slow. Hope you guys still enjoyed it um, and we did manage to find a ton of pearls and a ton of brand new pearl locations as well which is very very exciting so next time we go out there we'll be able to get at least like 15 or more pearls at a time awesome stuff all right hope you enjoyed this one guys leave a like dislike or a comment or two down below stay true and i'll see you guys in the next one bye